To start off, what is an elliptic integral? And why do we need hypergeometric functions? Well, you can probably guess from the name that they have something to do with geometry, right? Well, what do they have to do? It's a pretty distant link. And most hy hypergeometric functions are non-elementary. They're so far away from trigonometric functions and hyperbolic functions that, I mean, they seem totally unusable, right? So what are they good for? Why do we use them? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. So first of all, question one. What is a hypergeometric function? Well, as you can guess from the name, it has something to do with geometric series. Now, recall that a geometric series is the infinite sum of x to the n, where we're summing over n, the index. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, it starts off as 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth and so on and so forth. And there's a pretty easy proof that this is just equal to 1 over 1 minus x. So how does that relate to hypergeometric functions in general? Well, as you might have guessed, the hyper is because Hypergeometric functions are generalizations of geometric functions. Instead of being just x to the n, we now have some function f of x 